To Cathedral City, parents say they'll remain vigilant after winning a fight to keep their daughter's murderer in prison. In Oceanside, nearly 17 years ago, 25-year-old Nicole Sincouli was brutally murdered while she was asleep. Her boyfriend at the time, Eric Merrim, was convicted in her death and was serving 16 years to life in prison in Sacramento. He was granted recommendations for parole last year. This week, that recommendation was denied by Governor Gavin Newsom. News Channel 3's Samantha Lomiba spoke with the Sincoulis about their ongoing battle for justice. They weren't tears of joy. I don't know if it was tears of relief. I don't know what it was. It was a roller coaster of emotions for the Sincoulis after they found out their daughter's murderer was denied recommendation for parole. And I read the whole thing and then it got down to the bottom where it said it, uh, denied. He's, he's uh, staying in. He, he's, he's there and he's not getting out for a while. In December, I sat down with Nicole's parents, Glenn and Claudia Sincouli, just weeks after Maren was granted a recommendation for parole by two commissioners. All Nicole was doing is sleeping. Uh, that's all she wanted to do is sleep. And uh, uh, they took every right away from her, uh, even her life. Ever since that hearing, the Sincoulis have worked nonstop to make sure Maren stays behind bars. They've sent dozens of letters and garnered thousands of signatures from an online petition, eventually getting Governor Gavin Newsom's attention. The thing that chokes me up the most is that the com community, they gave us wonderful support. I mean, all the way from San Diego to Sacramento, we've gotten support. They believe Merrim should remain imprisoned, not only for brutally killing their daughter, but for the overall safety of the community. He doesn't belong on the street and he will hurt others. So it's not just keeping us and our daughter safe, it's keeping the community safe because he will strike again. We know too much. Maren will be eligible for recommendation for parole in about 18 months, but until then, he's not going anywhere. And although the Sincoulis were given some sense of relief, they say the fight is not over yet. We won this battle, but the war is still on. In Cathedral City, Samantha Lomibao, News Channel 3.